in. Let's yep. nuke the music. Pig Bay, I will see you afterwards. Waiting for his post-game analysis on stuff. So, let's go into this. We have PLA versus PLP. Um, so, as we go through this, we've got Whirligig, Strider, Z Solaris, and Ron Swanson all down here. So, we do have a four down here. This this map is notoriously just straight up one side's better than the other. So, which side is going to just give up and just go for B and, you know, vice versa. So, pretty much B is going to be the contestant point, and we're going to see each side go. we got African, Man of War, and Baby Shark right there. Baby Shark, of course, in a Benson, which is an incredibly capable DD. It can hold off a lot. We do have a Crossack or Cossack, Cheshire, Vanguard, and Kansas over here. And down below, we've got the Kansases, I believe. No, the Kansas, the Oland, and the Cheshire down there. A lot of different uh, Cheshires, a lot of cheap you know, ships to kind of middle the road type situation. Let's watch as the battle develops. We are going to see some cap, cap contestion right here where both of this baby shark is getting pushed out by that Cossack. It's an absolute cap bully, uh, as Pig Bay would say. Absolutely uh, great DD uh, reference for him. Uh, he, he knows how to play these way better than I do. As we can see, Baby Shark running away. Uh, the Cossack just showing. Just move around. Make sure you can bully that situation. We do have Cheshire, or Man of War, absolutely staying behind. I don't think that's a good idea for Man of War right here. We have a, you know, you're in your offset area already. Maybe he's just going to die there. And that's, that's, his, that's their job, to just die there and just kind of keep these two ships at bay. But, of course, we're already seeing Blake disengage down there. And they're moving the Kansas and the Cossack down below. So absolutely going to go versus five versus five at the CB cap situation. We are going to see that. We do see some long-range torpedoes from the Oland coming in. And those are pretty dangerous. Those can start a lot of floods. They can keep on uh, keep those torps out there, keep them uh, flooding up the ships. You're going to see them launch one at a time because the Oland X has a pretty fast reload on their torpedoes. So yep, you just see them going back and forth. But they are all just about keeping people moving and keeping people flooded. So... Let's see exactly who can do that better, who gets better luck. Fly Rider absolutely getting that flood, but of course healing immediately. We are seeing uh, CN absolutely pushing on that, but unfortunately it looks like mostly going to miss. The Vanguard's an incredibly maneuverable ship, able to definitely dodge whatever is thrown out there. Baby Shark is contesting with Cheshire and does have a Cheshire backup, so we might see if the Northern of uh, Baby Shark and Man of War can absolutely push on this. We are having a little bit of a uh, East versus West battle right here, so we're going to see exactly where is the holes going to show up, where is the first major hits and major deaths going to appear out of this. And as you can tell, we are absolutely seeing Fly Rider taking a large portion of that damage, absolutely focus firing, where African absolutely is taking a good amount of damage, backing out. Vanguard has a lot of maneuverability, can stay alive a bit longer, but of course, with at this level of play, it's going to be a little uh, harder to do that. Fly Rider is going down. That is a Kansas. That is one down. So of course, let's see if they can come back from that loss over here. They do have two caps, so they are winning the cap battle, but unfortunately, because of that Kansas death, not in the point lead. Now, let's see if Ron Swanson right now is what they're doing right here is specifically preventing the enemy team from using auto-aim and making it a little bit harder to do that, but Blake still nails African right there. Great job from Blake right there. That absolutely just shows the level of play you're looking at is that this type of play can be done. It's just not as effective as a lot of people think at this level. But let's see exactly if Strider in the Roma, which is, once again, this incredibly powerful ship. Let's see if they can move from there. So uh, as we can do this, we are seeing uh, the DD focus. We want to make sure the DDs get out. Whoever kills the DDs first wins. But right now, it's just a slugfest. We're going to see exactly where they win. Man of War is doing a great job just keeping the northern area at bay. These four ships have basically just been just fighting, and that's exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to pull guns away so that these, uh, of course, there was four down here or five. Keep those five there, keep in battling, and keep them working. We're really extending out torpedoes on this mass. So, of course, this is exactly where Air of Denial Torps or these distractionary torps are absolutely going into play because they have just a lot of people here. You just launch them off. You just launch them off, 
enjoy they'll hit something they literally it's like i can't stop hitting something and of course right here we're seeing absolutely three different ships hit unfortunately uh doesn't do that actually cn just draw uh blocked Jin's torps right there that is rough the cossacks getting focused right there nice job ron swatch and taking out a massive massive player in that situation let's see if they can absolutely take out the Oland as well from cn if they can i don't know if I actually they can spot them but we'll find out right there uh great job on that this is definitely a turtle strike getting surrounded and if uh, the turtle strat can actually focus fire and get that those guns on target they absolutely can win the game but when they're when their damage is so spread out and if they don't focus fire then the surrounding enemy can win because now they can just make the enemy confused and absolutely can't focus on anything and win strider taking down multiple people great job from the roma showing roma's accuracy and capability in that situation right there we are having uh, Blake looks to be focused now. This is exactly how you want to take down a turtle. Is you want to focus fire just like they should be. But unfortunately, it looks like this team is not capable of focus firing. We see Jin absolutely trying to take the north right here. Taking down Man of War. You still have Baby Shark to deal with. They are going to try to take the cap lead right here. But they're already down a good bit of points with Blake getting pushed on. We also have the Kansas getting hit multiple times by Whirly Gig. Absolutely just being a pester. That's what the Oland is, is you want to stay alive, be annoying. Absolutely play that MMO uh, cooldown situation of, of AP, HE, everything, and floods. So as we can see, Blake is absolutely getting just nailed by the Roma, showing the power of that, and the Vanguard's just straight up being, acting like a cruiser. Just go in. It has a decent amount of health. Use it, abuse it, go in, and have some fun here. I'm betting Jin is absolutely ready to move on a moment's notice to run away from that Vanguard, because I will do that, but great torps from Jin hitting Ron Swanson right there. Blake goes down, unfortunately, so it looks like this is pretty much dead and out baby shark absolutely showing a great use of area of denial torps you know maybe where this this person is going to be why not send off a tight spread and then a wide spread to absolutely confuse them make them very hard to to manage right there but of course the vanguard now is going to show cheshire is a cruiser this thing vanguard is meant to hunt down cruisers and absolutely annihilate so this is just going to be there kansas going down there that is that is basically game pig bay what are you thinking on this what's your post -game? uh so all right, so I would say I would if I had to give an MVP to two people on one team, it'd be Baby Shark and Man of War up at yep. A cap. Yep. All right. They they you know it was pretty much a two v two up there, and they were able to bully the other Cheshire uh, Red Team's Cheshire away, yep. and which allowed them to then take A and encapsulate the turtle. Yep. And then they were just messing with them the whole time until they did get pushed back out. But at that point, it's already too late. They've they've accumulated accumulated all the points, you know. Yep. And they just were like 200 points ahead at one point. So, yep. no, that's def definitely a good, good shout out to them. They were the I wouldn't say the roamers, but they were definitely they could have been the sacrificial offerings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but been. they held their own. They're oh, like, yeah. hey, y'all are going to die up there. I'm sorry you know take it for the team yeah but they held their own and actually ended up winning that fight so oh, good yeah. on them yeah especially showing that the cheshire can hold its own pretty well it, it can it's well, just not in that typical not in that yeah typical. so what i what i was seeing is the he spam coming from so yep. um shit, what was it man of war yeah man of yeah, war was war. driving the uh cheshire for yoho i don't know who was driving the one for um yeah okay. red yeah. Yeah. PLS. So I don't know who was driving that one, but uh, once they had a three permanent firearm, he just ran. He was like, yeah. I'm out. Yeah. And it just pretty much, pretty much bullied him. Just the Benson and. Oh, yeah. But yeah. No, that was a great place. And I also have to give give hands to Strider showing the strength of just basically showing the power oh. of the Roma and and making those pushes up there i do have to say that you know this shows the vanguard its capabilities it's just a very good all-around ship and especially if, when you are having having a lot of point situations you sometimes you want to go uh, for those all-arounders